Thank you for joining me. This is Infinite Phoenix. My name is Victor. Today we're playing Genshin Impact. This is episode two. We're gonna go ahead and just get this started right now, but if you like this content, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel. Thanks, you guys. Let's get this started right now. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. We're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? I mean, we've only been traveling partners for two months, but... We've already become the very best of friends. So to sum it up, you're traveling partners, right? Well, look, there's been a large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Oh, aren't you out here? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, I'm still not sure if I can trust you two just yet. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. That sounded so fake! Do you have something against the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius Handbook? At the ready. Suspicious travelers, what are you doing in Mondstadt? She got separated from her brother during a really, really long journey. Paimon is her travel buddy, helping her to find her brother. Oh, looking for your family? Huh. Uh... Okay, let me finish my other stuff first, and then I can help you put up posters around the city. What exactly is it you need to finish doing first? Simple. You'll understand in a bit.
Welcome to Mondstadt. Wind go with you. What? Of course they're flowers. I swear on the Monstat welcomes you. My strength still fails me. Wingley! Take your pick. You'll find him. Thank you. 
been getting too close to the city recently. My task this time is to clear out their camp. I'll race you there. a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camps so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helped make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Master still not.
let me officially introduce the city of wind, dandelions, and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, Jean, Defender of Mondstadt. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Favonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky Honey Roast. Sticky Honey Roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh, high ground. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere... Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. So, the present I want to give you is... A wind glider! Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too! I brought you here to give it to you, so you can experience it right away! Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions.
the sky. got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? <laughs> or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time. We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters.
Knights of Favonius headquarters. Let's head in. Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax, I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I've brought them. <sighs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Mondstadt welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm Terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. Simply put, Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your brother. Paimon will help too! Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. Alright, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. As you will.
want to team up with me? Huh. I should warn you, though. I don't slow down for anyone, Greenhorn or otherwise. As a novice within the Knights of Favonius, your understanding of the wind is absolutely crucial. Leave the advanced wind glider training to me. A way to fight against storm terror? I'm sorry, but there's no way to do it alone. Judging by the level of its animal power, it's definitely not an ordinary creature. I could teach you some elemental basics, so you'll have an idea of what I'm talking about. Its change in size and power really is suspicious. But for the Knights of Favonius, our priority is to deal with the aftermath of this attack. The Grand Master entrusted the Knights of Favonius to me. I can't let him or the people of Mondstadt down. I must get to the bottom of this. Wanna team up with me? Huh, I should with Jean by our side, but I can't keep she always dashes headlong into the heat of the battle, and we want her to take better care of herself. I really hope that one day I can look Jean in the eye and tell her she doesn't need to worry anymore, because we have her back. The monsters out in the wild? We've got many resources here in the library. Making good use of elemental advantages is the key to winning any battle. By the way, would you be interested in having a part-time job here? We need people to... Oh, we need people for doing... We just need more people.
catch up. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. We could start by going to Mondstadt's blacksmith.
find no second There's rate the items of wagons. <sighs> Why? This is the first Paimon's heard about it. Hmm. What, so you want Paimon on the front line now? She's a tiny one, isn't she? They need to be purpose built. Wow, he just bespoke weaponry? Of course. I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. No, buy from someone else. I barely have enough for myself. <sighs> you look confused. Listen, I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back and I'll help you forge what you need. No need. I have other things to do. He seems like a short-tempered guy. Was it something we said? This is it, one of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Yes. I also find it hard to accept, but Storm Terror was once one of the Four Winds. Wait! Did you just feel that? The wind here. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. Everyone in Mondstadt is still getting blown about by the storm. Every second we waste is a mark against the name of Favonius. Let's get in that temple. Stat! You can use that console to open the door. Wow, I can see so far into the temple.
must have got them riled up. Well, good thing I've prepared my secret weapon, Explosive Puppet Fairy Bunny. barrels over there? Well, one shot should be able to blow them up! something up there. But how do we get across? <gasps> Isn't this a pyro monument? If we hit it with a powerful pyro attack, we might trigger it. Breath. Is that where the power's coming from? Great, let's smash it. Phew, I'm tired. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to defend the city and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change, so too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier? If you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history, it's just... I, I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider, right? Keep up with me!
All right, everybody, I think this is a good spot to stop. I really appreciate you tagging along on this journey. This has been really cool. I enjoyed the Genshin game. I didn't want to ruin it with any audio, so kept myself out of it. But thank you for being here, and come on back and check out the next episode. If you like this, go ahead and like it. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next episode.